children in the previous lesson we learned that water is a natural resource and so we must use it carefully now we get water from different sources like rivers seas lakes ponds etc but you tell me can we use this water for drinking or for cooking no so first we have to see whether the water that we get is safe for us to use especially for drinking so today my dear children we are going to learn a new lesson water safe for drinking now take a look at this picture which glass of water can you drink yes of course you know the answer the glass with clean water now why do you think it is so water must be clean so that we can drink it safely because we all know dirty water is harmful for our health which can cause many different diseases let us try a simple experiment take a glass half filled with water add a spoonful of sugar to it and stir it what do you see the sugar has disappeared in the water which means it has completely dissolved in the water now take another glass half filled with water add a spoonful of oil to it and stir it now watch carefully what do you see the oil did not disappear even on stirring which means it cannot dissolve in water now this experiment tells us that some substances like sugar salt washing soda can dissolve in water while some substances like oil sand and sawdust cannot dissolve in water what is a solution when a substance dissolves in water a mixture of that substance and water is formed this mixture is called the solution of that substance let me give you an example now when someone's stomach is upset give them a solution of salt and sugar dissolved in water this solution is called ors or oral rehydration solution let me give you another example which you may be familiar with now in hospitals you must have seen some patients put on saline saline in simple words means a solution of salt in water now through this saline even other medicines are given to the patients do you know sea water is salty to taste because it is nothing but a solution of salt that occurs naturally we cannot use sea water for drinking water of different wells have different tastes now why is that so it's because some substances which are under the ground dissolve in the water and that gives the water a particular taste but if there is nothing dissolved in water water has no taste children you must have all seen that when you open a pepsi or a soda bottle you see bubbles fizzing out now why is it so this is because a gas called carbon dioxide is dissolved in it under pressure so when we open the lid the pressure reduces and the gas bubbles out you must have noticed that certain things float in water while others sink so let me show you with the help of an experiment 
Take a big bowl and fill it with water. Now put in this a pencil, three coins, ball, a wooden block, small pieces of stone. Now what do you see? The pencil, ball, blocks of wood float while the coins and stones sink in water. This is because things that are lighter than water floats and the things that are heavier than water sinks. Here's another experiment. Let us make water muddy and look at some simple ways of cleaning it. Take a glass of clean water and add a little mud to it. What do you see? Yes, the whole water has become muddy and dirty. Now leave the water to stand still for four to five hours. You will see that the dirt settles at the bottom. So the process of allowing heavier particles to settle to the bottom of still water is called settling. Now slowly pour the above water which is clean into another glass without disturbing the mud particles. But the water is still muddy. Now take a piece of alum and swirl it which means to stir in it. Leave this glass of water undisturbed for two to three hours. You will see that particles in the water slowly begin to settle at the bottom and the water in the upper part becomes transparent. This is because alum makes the dirt heavier and so it settles down. Now take another glass and place a tea strainer over it and spread a piece of fine cotton cloth. Now pour the water from the glass. What do you see? The soil particles remain on the cloth and water in the glass looks transparent. This is because the mud particles are bigger and so cannot pass through the cloth. Now this process is called filtration. Now we have seen some methods of making muddy water clean and transparent. But still such water cannot be used for drinking. Now let us see what is potable water. Water that does not harm our health in any way when we drink is called safe drinking water or potable water. Water safe for drinking. The water that we drink must be safe for our health. That is why we have boiled water or at home we also have an additional water filter for drinking water. Now pure water has no taste, smell or colour. If water has a colour or foul smell, we must not drink that water. It can make us ill. Let us learn some new terms. Now have you heard of the word micro? Okay, let me tell you what does it mean. Micro means very, very small. Organism means a living thing. So then, what is the meaning of microorganism? A living thing that cannot be seen by the naked eye or even with a magnifying glass. Now what is a microscope? It is an instrument for looking at very very small things which we cannot see with our eyes or even through a magnifying glass. Now you all understood what does the word microorganism mean? Yes, 
They are very tiny living things. Now they are of two types. One microorganism which is useful for us and the other one which is harmful to us. Most of you children like to eat curd. Now you must have seen mummy making curd at home. And you all know curd is made from milk. Now how is it that this milk is turning into curd? Let us see. Now if you take a bit of curd on a glass slide and place the slide under a microscope, you will see very tiny living things in it. Yes, these are microorganisms and it is these microorganisms that convert milk into curd and so they are useful for us. Like said, all the microorganisms are not useful and so when they enter our body, we fall sick. These are said to be harmful microorganisms. There are different kinds of microorganisms around us. They are present in the air, soil, water. In fact, we can say anywhere and everywhere. Now, like said, these harmful microorganisms are present in water, but we cannot see them, which means that the water looks clean and transparent, but there are microorganisms in it. And so, it's not safe for drinking. Now, we must be more careful during the rainy season because we hear a lot of people falling sick, complaining of stomach upset or stomach infection. So, see that you drink water that is safe for drinking. So, either have filtered water or boiled water. Now, boiling destroys the microorganisms in it and prevents diseases. So children, as we all know, water is very important in our life. Drinking the proper amount of water is very essential for good health. But at the same time, drinking pure and clean water is a must as impure water can cause different kinds of diseases or infections. Answer the following. Name the substance used to make the solution called lemon sherbet. The substance used to make the solution called lemon sherbet are lemon, sugar, salt and water. Why is that water that looks clean and transparent may not be fit for drinking? Water that looks clean and transparent may not be fit for drinking because harmful microorganisms may be present in water and if they enter our body, it may cause diseases which is harmful for us. When making a sherbet, what do we do to make sugar dissolve quickly? When making a sherbet, we stir with a spoon so that sugar dissolves quickly in the water. Does oil float on water or sink in it? Oil floats on water as it is lighter than water. Fill in the blanks. Substances like sugar and salt dissolve after some time when added to water. The mixture obtained on dissolving a substance in water is called a solution. ORS is an example of useful solutions. All microorganisms are not useful. Some can cause harm if they enter our body. Things that float in water are lighter than it and things that sink are heavier than it. A substance called alum is swirled in muddy water to help clean the, wa the water. True or false? Alum powder does not 
dissolve in water. False. Microorganisms cannot live in water. False. If muddy water remains still, a sediment is formed at its bottom. True. An eraser floats in water. True. Tea leaves can be separated from tea by filtration. True.